we've received a lot of calls from around the country uh, asking about the use of cobalt and chromium in total hip replacement systems. Uh, cobalt and chromium has been used uh, in several different hip implants uh, and those devices now have been associated with reports of uh, pain and loosening uh, and injuries that require uh, surgery to replace the device. Uh, one of the reasons surgeons have recommended to their patients to replace the devices is because the devices have been reported to release cobalt and chromium particles uh, into the body and into the blood. Uh, the release of cobalt and chromium uh, into the body has caused damage to the tissues and the bones surrounding the implant. Uh, and those metal particles also enter the bloodstream uh, and remain in the body and are continuously released into the body. And the long-term effects of having high levels of cobalt and chromium in the body have not been fully studied. So if you have a metal-on-metal -metal hip implant, uh, odds are it's made with cobalt and chromium, uh, and you should consider conferring with your doctor uh, and being tested for high levels of cobalt and chromium in your blood. And if you have any concerns from a legal perspective, feel free to give us a call right away.